All right, let's get back to it. Good morning, everybody. change on my location this morning, which, you know, it's no big deal, but I'm back outside in the garage, and it's, it's cold, but it's not ridiculously cold. Here in the States, it's Martin Luther King Day, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a great American, a great American, um, real wonderful vision. So uh, here we go. Thanks for joining me, and let's get started on swings. So, reminder, it's... 10,000 swing challenge. Oh. Oh. So, American football season's coming to a close, which is sad. Uh, but we didn't think we'd have a season, so that's pretty good. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Gorg. I know some names down here. Some few regulars. A few people enjoying watching a grandfather work out. Oh, a viewing party. Well, good. I'm glad I could uh, be your, uh, I don't know, whatever, your, your uh, entertainment for this day. Mm, there we go. Oh, so, it's going to be a, oh, that'll be a good one today, I guess. As soon as I get done. My group will show up and I'll do my workout. So, I don't know. My body weight is, it's trending now, but I've had a couple of these days in a row. I mean, you should, I like to weigh in and do waistline every day uh, when I'm doing any kind of challenge or anything. Because what you're looking for, again, uh, is you, this isn't going to happen. It's going to be a little bit like this. And of course, the problem is, you know, the other day I was down. 14 pounds from the start, and today I'm up, oh, about, no, I'm actually, I'm down uh, a little bit today, but, you know, my point is it goes like this, and you start to uh, think your self-worth is a number on the scale or a tape measurement around your waist, and that's just not true. You hell, you never know what's going on in the back, what's going on here, you know.
So my plan when I finish the 10,000 swings is to keep keep doing swings for a while. Uh, today today puts is going to finish a 9,000 day swings. So that means well, yeah. uh, two more 500 swing days and then I'm going to join the Pat Flynn 300 people where they're doing 300 swings a day. And it's weird because I, I think that change of 200 less swings uh, is going to be kind of interesting. I'll, when I do that, I'll play around with different weights. Uh, for those of you who read my work, which oh, we have a question from It's Trash. The, uh, spring, how cold is it today? It's not too bad out here today. It really isn't. Got a deep, we got a snowstorm coming in. Uh, quick answer, coach. Why do you not fully storms? I answer this question like 300 times a week, Leonard. So, two things, Leonard. When I was in high school playing American football, I broke the end of this elbow off. And by the way, what is straight? Is that straight? Because that's straight to me. You want that? That's hyperextended. So I couldn't straighten out this elbow. So when I bench pressed, even in college, that was my bench press lockout right there. You can call it what you want. So yeah, and the other thing problem, Leonard, is that uh, unlike a lot of people, you know, I don't want to even ask. Uh, okay, one quick thing, wizened and th 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 uh, please call me Dan, okay? A really nice question here from Samuel. How was my recovery from the vitamin? So the other day, I went to doc my doctor. Uh, her first name is Sean. I don't want to give too much information because, you know, I don't know what kind of psychopaths are listening. But uh, we did this uh, IV right there. Took, uh, well, that vein is still pumped up. Um, Took a while, tons of vitamin C, tons of B vitamins, some other fun stuff, and uh, I'm testing this out to see if this is a better way, you know, to do certain things in recovery modes. Remember, I only tell people to do something when I do it myself, and that's been that way since I first started, okay? So I don't, uh, I would never recommend you taking an IV without me putting my arm out first, so, oh, and speaking of Leonard, uh, my doctor even said, you need to straighten your arm out more. And she meant what you think, too, which is that. So, you know, at the World Swing Championships, I'm sure I'll get marked down by the East German judge on that. You're telling me that's not, you're telling me that's not straight. So my daughter almost got failed at one of the kettlebell certs, and her team leader... Mark Toomey came over to me later on because I was the head instructor. He goes, honest to God, the assistants are trying to find fault with her because she's your daughter. And I'm like, that's insane. But that's the kettlebell world. Uh, nitpicking. I mean, these people would be the best lice harvesters in the world. Lice harvesters. Someone write down lice harvester. There's my, I like that. German that has no English
English translation. Ant tattooist. A person who puts tattoos on ants' butts. So what is a lice harvester? Ant tattooist. Mm. Those will be chapters in my new book. I like that. Actually, Leonard Jackson helped me. You may be a rant, but you helped me, man. Wow, that's a big group this morning. Good morning, all. So, uh, I know, I know I'm mean to people when they ask questions like that, and I'm sorry. Brian tells me to be nice to people, but for God's sake, they're doing 10,000 swings, you know? It does make me happy that I'll, I'll look around on this thing called the Instagram, and I'll notice that some of the influencers, you know, the ones that show their, you know, every opportunity to show their butt and their boobs, I have more followers now than many, many, many of them. It makes me kind of like, well, there is a niche uh, for 63-year-old grandfathers. Hello. Buffalo born? Uh, I'm not going to answer again, Buffalo born. Oh, stop. Good morning. Oh, serious. It's, it's a little boy in a bicycle. So, I'm over one quarter of the workout already today. It's going quickly. Uh, my dog's outside. He's wearing a sweater today. Hey, Sears, come here. Come here. Come here. I'll give you an idea on how cold it is, okay? Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, come on. That's it. Here you go. Here you go. That's how cold it is today. That the dog is wearing a sweater. So, I'm sure one of you is going to get on my case for wearing gloves. They're, these are actually just inserts onto my onto my winter gloves. I found I don't know where you get these, but any for training, these stop me from sticking. These stop me from squicking. Uh, I'm not swinging a 16 kilo bell. Who's that jackass? You're dead to me. You're dead to me. 16. You're dead to me. I've been to Scotland, Samuel. I loved it there. Gosh. So we have a why don't you send that to podcast at danjohnuniversity.com. We had a question about training 12 to 14 year old tennis players in a club. You know how I would train them? I would use the club on them. Come on, gotta move a little bit. There you go. Good boy. Good. You ready? Sit, sit. Or here. Or, or here. Do you, do you want to see? I'm going to swing this way. So if you go there, or if you go there, I won't hit you in the face. So, okay. Okay, I'm going to change angles for this one. You honestly, you can't plan that kind of thing. Serious black, ladies and gentlemen. Serious black. Stay, stay, stay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you need to have those kids, I'm still answering the question, I don't know why. But uh, tennis kids, little rich kids, 12 to 14, power clean, military, bench press, front squat, the Southwood program. But, yeah, thank you for, 
Oh. Oh, you guys get to hear uh, my neighbor warm up his truck for the next hour and a half. It's just gonna be loud. Uh, I'm not sure, Alum, who asked about tennis, uh, if uh, doing weightlifting is gonna help tennis players at that age. Uh, you know, you know, you're asking a kid from South San Francisco who, I mean, we never played any team sports or organized sports. Who's gonna afford it? You know, how much do you charge a month for these kids to coach them, Alum? I did think it was funny with my dog. Uh, yeah, because if you're in charge of a sports program, you and you're charging people, you, you really should have the strength and conditioning to kind of already lock down a little bit. You know, I think. I don't mind consulting, but, uh, you know. All right, let's get some more swings in. Uh, Mike will be here in uh, about 32, 33 minutes, so I gotta knock out a, a fair number of swings in the next uh, a little bit. You get to hear my neighbor with his truck, but isn't that nice? Every day. I've asked him to deal with it. But supposedly, if you have a huge truck, it takes three and a half hours to warm up. Hey, are you taking off? Yeah. Hey, where's my wife Tiffany? Hi guys. Hey, the uh, the godmother is here. These guys probably don't even know old school. Uh. You want the keys? Susie Gooch, good morning to you. Thank you, Tiff. We'll see you soon. Uh, thanks for uh, being here this morning. I know there's not a lot of you. Uh, oh. Thank you, uh, Jim. Thank you for Jim Hooper, ladies and gentlemen. Hell of a guy. Big time volleyball guy, Southern California. He's also uh, just one of the best kettlebell people I know. Good friend. This is gonna sound kind of weird, but he and I have swung some kettlebells on uh, uh, beaches. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Norberg, Nor Norberg, thank you very much. He wishes me good luck today. Uh, that was only about five minutes, that's a new record. His record for a warm-up truck has gotta be in excess of half an hour. Uh, you would think, why doesn't it have it in a garage? That's a whole other interesting story. We can actually talk about uh, in a uh, 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 financial advisory course. All right, let's get, uh, let's get some more reps. Hi, hey, Jim, you want to do some swings with me?
let's get over, let's get over halfway in this round. Let's get in half. And a reminder for those you care. Why would someone want to be in my live video with me? Anyone know? Uh, all it does is knock out all the questions. So if anyone asks a question last minute, just let me know. So Jim's asking when I get down to Newport. Jim, I'll go to Newport any day of the week, man. Uh, that was fun last time. God, we just, I think I just walked down to the beach and we worked out for about an hour. So uh, the, the only difference, Jim, between Murray, Utah and uh, Newport is, uh, well, you have oceans, we have mountains. You have perfect weather. Uh, we either are blisteringly hot or freezing cold, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> Why are people asking to be on my my video? First off, who are you? A. Olin wants to be part of, who Who are you? Thank you, Buster. Buster says I look good, so that you get any question you want, you get an answer. So, gentle listeners, these people who I don't know ask to be part of my video, which, I don't know, I mean, we use real names. Uh, been a fan? Oh my god, Dave. Old school. Yeah, come here. Come here, seriously. You're from the old school training site. The, man, you've been around for a while. That that overhead press, uh, overhead squat article was the first published article I had in this field. Uh, I published articles on Beowulf, King Arthur, Utah 4 H clubs, uh, uh, tons and tons on. Uh, religious studies, religious education. But I wrote that article, and I remember somebody asked me why I stopped writing in the field of theology and religious education. It's like, uh, I get checks for articles on weightlifting. <laughs> okay, we have May. Okay, Charlton, I don't, I don't know a big fan of the Mace. I think they're, I just think they're more, um, <laughs> you asked me what I think about Maces. I mean, do you, does this look like a gym that would have maces? Now you're going to look at these and go, oh, those are maces. No, those are Scottish Highland uh, implements. Those are Olympic hammers. Those are the, you know, I don't get why every so often we have to reinvent crap that got thrown out. Listen, I get it. Back in 1910, people used club bells and maces. I get that. Uh, what do I, I just, I mean, Hey, hi, Cairo Credutor. I just don't see why we have to keep bringing up these things that, yeah, and you're gonna say, well, it does wonders for the shoulder. Well, here's an idea. Don't hurt the shoulder in the first place. Hand-to-hand um, -hand swings, I think they're fine. I teach them in certs. Never do. Why don't I do hand-to-hand -hand swings? Because I own this. <laughs> I don't wanna break your stuff. It is weird the questions people come up with. And by the way, when you ask my opinion, I tell me my opinion. You then can't fight with me on what my opinion is. And I don't have to explain my opinion, okay? I'll do something, I'll say I don't like it, this doesn't fit our training, and I'm done with that. I don't spend any more brain pain on it. I, I don't care what bodybuilders do. I don't care 
what 1913 strongmen did. I don't care, okay? Um, you know, uh, you tell me some, a secret from Tommy Kono, I want to listen. You know, Al Order, I'll lean in. You know, let's do this. So, if you're doing Pat Flynn's 300, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Uh, I'll be doing 300s pretty soon. So, uh, thank you. That is a nice story. Yeah. So, here's the thing. I went to a kettlebell cert, got certified. I became a, an assistant team leader, team leader, a senior kettlebell instructor. A master for both Strong First and Dragon Door RPC. I go to these workshops. I take more notes than almost anybody else. <laughs> you can ask people. I, then I go home and I retype them. And then I organize the notes. And then sometimes print them out, teach a free cert somewhere. Like some, I did one of the Epic, did one in my backyard. Just to practice what I think. I have deemed that the only swing I like is the two-handed swing. So one bell, two hands. Mass made simple. Good. <laughs> so we got some people doing mass made simple. We got some people doing easy strength. This guy here, uh, Dave, is doing humane burpees, easy strength, and original strength. Dave, would you mind uh, email that to me, dan at danjohn.net? Would you show me the program you're doing, or, or however you want to do it? I mean, just you know, maybe do what you think you're going to do, you know, and then then you know, let me know what you're doing, you know, because that's always different. If for those of you who don't know. A program is, is, a, is an outline, a template, but they don't often. It's like when you go to coach an American football game or a war, you know, you start out and you have this great plan, and within about 10 plays, you're like, holy shit, we got to do something fast, you know? Uh, yeah, so, and the reason, I don't mind hand to hand swings, I mean, they're all fine. It's just that, you know, how, how many variations do you want on a simple exercise like this one? You know? The best progress I ever made was the Olympic lifter, so I threw out all the bullshit and just did Olympic snatch, Olympic clean and jerk. Oh, and front squats. I did the Dave, Dave, uh, uh, Dave Turner program. Uh, we are getting a light mist of snow just started in about the last 10 seconds. I don't know what this is. It's, I don't think it's snow snow, but it's kind of cool. And it just, just started happening. Uh, the cameras are only about two feet from the environment, so no, I, I like that, Dave. I like that a lot. Video workout, I'll even do it along with you. Uh, so, oh, 20 minutes, 200 reps, physically impossible to do that. 100 reps in 10 minutes, impossible.
So one thing I have picked up on is that uh, my grip outside is worse than my grip inside. I think it's because I have to wear gloves. Uh, otherwise, I'll literally, literally stick to the bar. If any get bored, I'll give you a gym tour again. I don't know where I left off last time. That's my dog. That's Sirius Black. Oh, my YouTube people can't see him. Sirius, say hi. Oh. Say hi, Sirius. Yeah, he's a. Yeah, he's one of like. He's one of those TV dogs, you know, you hear about. He does a thousand tricks. So this is his best trick. He, he finds a spot either right underneath me when I'm trying to cook, usually right next to me when I'm trying to lift, and doesn't move. That's his greatest trick. It took me, took me years to teach that to him. Um, the other trick he does really well is when you have like 70 bags of groceries and you're trying to carry them into the house. He, as you go up the stairs, he likes to hit one of the legs. Uh, it's, uh, that one took a long time to develop. Don't kid yourself. any of you believe in reincarnation, you do want to come back as one of my dogs. I'm just saying. Speaking of, new movie by Pixar out called Soul has some theological discussions we could have, but I, I, I was amazed what a good feeling it had at the end of it. So I'm giving Soul two, two iron cross thumbs up. set we'll go over 400 and it's all downhill from there today's workout I'll be doing uh, probably just a lot of overhead presses mobility work maybe some original strength we'll see a lot of extra this kind of stuff TYI maybe some heavy hands <sighs> recharge I do some push-ups Oh, okay. So, Tudor is asking a question about Mass Made Simple. Uh, Push-ups, gobble squats, TRX rows, and RDLs. Uh, I don't know what a CAR is, but... Uh, so, he's talking about the, the recharge days. So, on the Mass Made Simple, the, the workouts work in triads. The hard workout, a day of rest, and then a recharge day. Hard workout, day of rest, recharge. Uh, people who don't do the recharge, I think, are stupid because the accumulation of all those squats really begins to kind of mess with the, the hard wiring. And uh, so, you know, the, so, you know, the rule of X, you know, and all those squats start to mess with, I'm not going to say it hurts you, but it's just, it's, it's a lot of load. And then of course it also hurts with the hard wiring up here because they're exhausted. Uh, just let me know what day you're on, and if you find that enough, then do it. That, don't, don't go crazy or anything. It, that's plenty, okay? Uh, as long as you come out of that recharge workout, I mean, I don't care. You, know, you don't have to feel like a 50-year-old boy who finds his first chest hair or anything, but, uh, you know, as long as you got a little bit of, a little bounce in your step, you know, a little bit of, <laughs> bounce, a little bit of non-trudge in your step, that's, that's what you want. Let me know if I got that right or not. Okay. Oh, no. 
I only have about 13 minutes to get 130 reps. Physically, no one's ever done that in the history of humanity. If I get this, it'll be a miracle. Done soon. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who don't follow American football, last night Tom Brady had a good game, not a great game, uh, defeated Drew Brees uh, in a pretty good football game. I liked it. Uh, thing is, they're, they're, the two, their age add up to 85. And I wrote a positive thing about Tom Brady's book, TV 12, a while ago. But I got attacked by kind of a big name in the fitness industry. Now, and of course, I deleted the post because this person's made their whole career swinging on the uh, genitals of a major drug pusher. Uh, he's one of those, the, the, oh yeah, the reason you're not making your gains is you're not taking... Dan John Super Vitamin Complex. Of course, his athletes are getting shots, you know? <laughs> and he's telling you guys that you need more lemon juice. Oh yeah, yeah. If you put le lemon juice on your on your green beans, you'll lose 13% body fat overnight. You know, bullshit like that, you know? But I, I don't love or hate what Tom Brady does in the weight room. I don't care. By God, the dude, man, he's got it going on. One thing, and if you're a track and field coach or a weightlifting coach, if you don't respect, if you don't respect ongoing performance, you're too stupid to be in these fields. You're just too stupid. You know, uh, if someone throws a discus farther, no matter what they do, even if I disagree with it, I uh, I look into it. Um, I'm joining a I'm joining a, a, a site. It's going to cost me almost 200 bucks, and the site is on it's how to coach the discus throw. Well, I mean, I don't make a big deal, but you know, all those pictures of me throwing the discus and all these Olympians sending me stuff, disc, you know, who are discus throwers, I'm gonna drop 200 bucks though to relearn how to throw the discus again. That's what you're supposed to be doing, folks. Uh, just started week three. Tomorrow I'll start training 76 on. So far I'm following the exact scheme. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. Um, week three, uh, yeah, you're, you're starting to get in those weird workouts, right? Are you, you're doing up, sorry, top of my head. You're doing up to 50s now, right? So yeah, so anything that gets you to come back. Okay, let's uh, knock these out. Oh my gosh, can I get it done? No way. Indoors, because I have the heating vent, 
My hands get sweaty, but I just can do this. Oh, Mike's here. Good. Start training in just a second. Okay. Any more questions? Oh, a whole bunch, huh? You better. Thank you, Sean. Sean said thank you for spreading the message. And, uh, Warren Brown, most well-read person I know. Uh, gotta go eat, okay. Okay, I'm yeah. Oh man, so Mark is having some good success. He's doing the kettlebell easy strength. He went from 40 in the press for three to 48 for a double. And that's just a couple, you know, a couple weeks, nothing to. That's impressive. Hey, one more set, we're done for the day, okay? Uh, remember, uh, if you have questions, podcast at danjohnuniversity.com. Uh, uh, I try to answer questions here, but as you can see, it doesn't always work. I had a question from a tennis coach, strength training for 12 to 14 year old tennis kids. I don't know, had mommy drive the Lamborghini slower and push it, you know? Oh, was that not nice? No. So when the private draft jet drops you off to practice, no? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was me and I apologize. Nine thousand, Mike. Right? I almost. Okay, thank you, everybody, for visiting this morning. Be back tomorrow for another five hundred swings because you know, if it's not five hundred swing day, then you know, who, who, who knows? All right, hey, thank you, YouTubers. Bye, bye.